boots in your footwear collection are a necessity. You have to have some good boots unless you live somewhere that it's warm and nice all the time. And if that is the case, then we're, we're all happy for you. Me personally, I don't know about you guys, but I like the seasons. I love it when it gets cold, I like it when it gets warm, it keeps things fresh because you can change your entire outfit, especially your footwear, to accommodate for the weather. I'm gonna share with you five pairs of boots that I have in my collection right now. I'll end up showing you more than five because that's just always how it is. I'm gonna share with you just five different styles. Everything is different, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's do it. And of course, because it's always nice to learn new brands and styles, if there is anything you recommend to me or anyone else, please leave it down in the comment section. Let me know what boots have been a necessity or essential for you. Right out of the gate, let's nip this in the butt. We are not talking about Tim's in this video because yes, I wear them. I have plenty of different pairs and colors, but everyone else has talked about Tim's and told you why they're good. You already have them in your collection probably, so we're moving on. Okay, starting things off with the most annoying Nike box I've ever seen. This is absurdly Large, that's what she said. This is the uh, the Giadome, Giadome. This is the box that you put at the bottom of your sneaker pile and then it collapses because you put other smaller sneaker boxes on top of it and it just goes squish. These are an absolute unit. What an absolute brick. It's big, it's bulky, it's Gore-Tex, so it's certainly waterproof. It's got nice padding. I love seeing that Gore-Tex tag though. It just means that they're gonna perform outside. And I hate it when my feet get wet, so I just know when it's snowing or whatever it's doing out there that these are gonna protect me. The price tag is north of $200. I think that this colorway sold out. People like these. I love ACG. I think it's one of Nike's best lines, and it's been pretty good over the past couple of years. It could be even better though. There's so much potential there, a lot more to get into. Let's keep it moving. Next up, my go-tos. If you don't have a pair of Blundstones, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and give them a shot. They are worth the money. I think a lot of the boots I'm showing you here are around $200, and the price tag for them is worth it, in my opinion. Sneakers are going up in price, so they're kind of, they're neck and neck. So skip a pair of Jordan, skip one Jordan release and get yourself a pair of boots because they're gonna last longer. They're built better. So this is the Blundstone 1941 and it is a version of a Chelsea boot. However, it's not that. I was into Chelsea boots. I'm sure some of you were as well. A lot of us just wanna forget about it that we were walking around in some really pointy Chelsea boots and we were buying them from Urban Outfitters for like 60 bucks and <laughs> what a time. This is a stone brown and in person it looks like the definition of an earth tone. It's a little bit gray, it's a little bit brown. There's a hint of green in there but all of that means that they're beautiful and they go with a lot of different things and that's all I want. They're a little bit more rounded than your standard boot as well. They are so comfortable. You can remove the footbed, it comes with multiple different options and you can pick which one suits your feet best. And the more they get beaten up, just like Jordan 1's, they look better. So you can really break these in. Get yourself a pair of Blundstones, trust me, I'll link them for you down in the description. Next up, you see the box. Ame Leondor and New Balance. I'm showing these to you so briefly because I'm featuring them in a video tomorrow. An entire video about building an outfit where I picked up multiple different things and just paired it all together. You'll see that in the video tomorrow. So subscribe if you're new around here if you wanna see that, but here is just a quick glimpse. ALDs, because I'm not spending any time on those, let me show you another alternative to sneakers and boots, actually. If you do not have a pair of Clark's Wallabies in your footwear rotation, you gotta change that. Are these a boot? No. Are these a sneaker? No, they are Wallabies. There is nothing that looks like Clark's Wallabies. Yes, other brands have tried. This is a, how should I say this? a acquired taste. You have to appreciate these. You have to start wearing them, appreciate the crepe sole and how it feels on feet. These are 
so comfortable. The shape is not something that you're used to if you are expecting to look down at your feet and see Tim's or Air Force Ones. When you look at everything you have, you don't necessarily have to buy the same things over and over. Try something new. Next up, we have something from an incredible brand. Barber has been around for a long time. You probably know them for their waxed overcoats, a lot of nice outerwear, and clothing in general gets released from this brand. They also make really nice boots, and my wingtip Seaton boots from Barber are something that I wear pretty often when I want a little bit more of a dressy boot. I think having something wingtipped is a nice option in your footwear rotation. They might not be super exciting. If you throw on a solid menswear or grown man or dressy outfit, sometimes you need options like this to just complete the flow. Okay, last up, I have a nice surprise to share with you guys. I typically don't accept just free product in exchange for a review or feature in a video because I don't like to owe anyone anything. I featured the Yeezy Desert Boots or something from the Yeezy boot line a, a little while ago. And this individual reached out to me and said, hey, I make a better boot than those they're probably going to be more comfortable because those Yeezy boots are just, the sizing is incredibly awful. So he reached out to me, told me his story, gave me his website. I checked it out. He's a veteran and he designed his own boots. I love the way they look. So I agreed to accept a pair. Look at this packaging, by the way. Beautiful. This is the JDL commuter boot. I got to give you props, man. You went out there and you did it. This is an extremely comfortable pair of boots. They feel like a sneaker. This is something that I can appreciate for the winters here in New England because it'll just snow a foot or two and you need something high cut like this to be able to walk through the snow. Think that they are sold out right now. Last I checked, they were sold out. I'll get some info and I'll put it down in the description if you guys are interested in checking these out, but support this guy. I think it's amazing what he did. The story is great. He's gone through multiple different designs and this is the result currently. I think that you're onto something, man. So congrats releasing anything on your own and designing it and manufacturing it is difficult. So I give you props. These look great. Be sure to let me know what you guys are wearing down in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and subscribe if you're new around here. That is a wrap for me though. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.